Big day, huh? Good morning. <laughs> Big day. You ready? <laughs> yes. All right, girly, you ready? Yes. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I feel like you're a seven. Early morning. Early morning for the warrior good. princess. <laughs> Penelope, warrior princess. <laughs> She's a brave girl, huh? I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go? This is the way they call. <laughs> Waiting for the call back. <laughs> I'm going to go get some paperwork and some things we need and I'll be back. Don't run away. <laughs> <laughs> no new medicines, no new allergies. <laughs> you look so stylish. Beautiful. Ball I love that dog. So, oh, so, do you need the vitamin today? No. Do you need the water today? You're a 7 grader, 50. Oh my god, 153. You're so bald. I'm 100. <laughs> you look great. You look great. <laughs> It smells so good. It's like a, a heated dress. It's like a blanket. Yeah. My dress. I gotta go out. It's like prom. To get food. You know. <laughs> Everyone saw me. Oh my you get your prom dress? <laughs> this is gonna make it all nice and warm. You're gonna look like a big purple marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you're gonna be wearing hot <laughs> You're gonna be I do get a lot of requests to make this. <laughs> That's awesome. I said I'm gonna wear this every night. <laughs> nice and warm. Yeah. <laughs> Zap everybody that wants to in the room, okay? Not easy. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, she's still thinking about it. Okay guys, we have just a couple of minutes until surgery now. We've gone through all the pre-op and all of that. Melpi is in this like little warming gown that's meant to like, I think, decrease bacteria um, for surgery. And she was making jokes and saying she wants one of these every day because it's nice and warm. So um, we are getting really close, just watching some TV, waiting for the doctors to come in for the final time. And we'll be off to surgery. You ready, girl? Yes. Feeling good? Okay guys, so Penelope is back in surgery now. She's been back for about an hour and um, they said it's gonna take about three hours for the surgery and then we can go join her in the recovery room. Yep. I'm really thankful for the doctors and nurses here. They were super sweet with her, really just putting her at ease, joking. It was joking. really fun, yeah. They were, yeah. Like, 
probably the most personality I've ever seen in yeah, a nurse before. For so. sure. They definitely knew how to interact with her to just help her not have a lot of anxiety. And so yeah. um, that's really good. I'm very thankful for that. So. Yeah. I think she's pretty relaxed. Her <laughs> They took her blood pressure and her heart rate and all that stuff. They're mm -hmm. like, you're chill, girl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think she's that's ready. a good sign. That's a good sign. She's really happy and excited. Yeah. She said she slept done. really well last night. And so yeah. I went up there um, to try to say goodnight to her one more time. <laughs> and she was already completely out, yeah. snoring away. So, um, yeah. yeah. So we'll be back there in just a couple of hours to see her. But we're Meantime, waiting. Yeah, waiting here. And Stephen picks up. Some Torchy's tacos, which I'm eating a bowl. Mm. And just some queso and whatnot. Queso. It's like the best queso on earth. And guacamole. Picked up. Can some, you tell we like guacamole, guys? Picked up some flowers for yeah. Penny when she comes out of her sedation, and hopefully that helps make her feel Smile. good. Smile. Yeah. Be happy. So yeah. we're yeah. just gonna hang for a couple of hours, enjoy some Mexican food. Yeah. Cause that's always a good thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> the best. Yeah. Okay. The buzzer's going off. Ready. I think that means that Penelope's done. Yeah. So we're gonna go here and talk to the doctor. Yeah. And kind of figure out what's going on. And Let's do it. Hopefully, it's really good. So. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that was so encouraging. Uh, just meeting. met with the surgeon. Uh, he basically said that the surgery went really, really well, yeah. that her tissue was really strong and healthy and good. Uh, she'd only had one surgery before. We thought it was two, but only one, so there wasn't a lot of scar tissue. Yeah. And he was able to move the muscles over and mm -hmm. uh, connect it properly and all that. And mm -hmm. so while it was a challenging surgery, mm -hmm. uh, it went really well. And so he's very hopeful for her. Um, so she's in recovery right now, kind of yeah. coming out of the anesthesia. Yeah. I uh, think about 30 minutes or so they said we can go back and see her. Yeah, so we can't wait to see yeah. how she's doing. Yeah, they said <laughs> she'll be on liquids for two weeks, which I thought it had, they had said one. But yeah, two weeks two on weeks. liquids, four weeks on soft foods. So we've got a little bit of a journey ahead of us, but <laughs> so thankful that she did well. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to go see her. Yeah. So what do you do when you're in the waiting room on an extremely rainy day? for hours and hours on end. And just the moment they put it up on the screen, we knew we're having twins. <laughs> That's what you do. You watch your friends announce that they're having twins, which is awesome. So awesome, <laughs> guys are so excited so for you. Pumped. If you guys don't follow Two in a Zoo, Mike and Melanie and their kiddos are amazing, mm -hmm. beautiful people, and uh, they're having twins, just announced that on yeah. their channel, so go follow them. I think we're gonna get to go hang out with them whenever we're in uh, Orlando later this year for Disney, yeah. for Lincoln's Mega Wish, so Mike and I have been texting back and forth, and We'll see, I know hopefully, that they're gonna be busy. Yeah, probably they'll probably have babies. some new babies, but hopefully we can meet some new babies, which yeah. would be cool. We're so happy for you guys. Yeah. So exciting. So pumped. Yeah. <laughs> Time to go see her. Sleeping. Got her, her Pikachu blanket 
and all is right with the world. I'm having some liquids and hoping this will help her stomach settle a little bit. Yeah. Some more. Mm -hmm. You're doing awesome, kiddo. Yeah, you're doing such a good job. Does it hurt a little bit? I said if we have some liquids, then we can do the pain medicine that's a little bit stronger. I'm trying to get a little bit down so that we can take that. So that's the goal here. And Penelope is being so brave and so strong. You're doing a great job, Paul. I'm not going to wake up and suddenly know what my brain is like behind his mask. We've cracked cases, a lot over the past one. Here's the problem. I mean, okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and head home. I was hoping to um, have the kids FaceTime with Penelope before I left, but she She's is snoring away logs. here. She is totally out. See, sweet girl. So I figure I would just let her sleep. Her body clearly needs the rest. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. So I don't want to disturb her, but um, <sighs> I'm gonna go home and be with the kids tonight. And Steven's gonna stay here and has graciously offered to sleep on this couch here, this <laughs> little bitty couch. Yeah, and I think it pulls out though, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. It pulls out not, at least, It's right? not awesome, but it'll work. Hopefully it's just oh, for one night. <laughs> I yeah. very much appreciate it. Yeah. I'm, I'm really needing a good night's sleep. I have not had one in a few days. This whole week of packing, moving, um, and surgery at the same time. It's, it's been a crazy week. Crazy, and we really couldn't change the timing of all of this and yeah. so you just got to make it work we're making it work but we are sleep deprived people right now and so i very yeah. much appreciate getting to go home and sleep in i my hope bed. you get all of the sleep i will definitely try <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be back tomorrow to pick up steven and penelope and i think a couple of kids will join me and uh, so we're looking forward to all being back home again in our new home and just settling in there goodness i cannot even wait Super excited. So it's going to be good. And I'll get back just in time to move in all the big furniture. That's right. This weekend is when the big <laughs> furniture is getting moved in. So should be fun. Still a lot to look forward to, and um, so it's going to be good. Yeah. But thank you guys for all of your well wishes for Penelope. I was showing her comments um, earlier when she was actually awake, <laughs> and she was smiling so big, just yeah. reading all of the sweet comments yeah. and well wishes and prayers for her. Thank you so much. That really meant a lot to her. Yeah. So we really appreciate it. I'm so thankful she's doing well and um, just ready for us to get home and for her to be on her way to recovering and all of that. So thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Who's that? Give sister a kiss? You give sister a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hi. Oh my gosh, Penelope. Hi, Penelope. Hi. 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 How are you feeling? I can not talk. Yeah, she can't talk very well because her throat hurts really bad. <laughs> Guys, this is dedication. There's a cilantro next door, which is like a Korean barbecue place, and they have these kimchi fries that are about the greatest thing on earth. And I am trying to be on keto here in this hospital and not blow it. So I'm gonna do chicken and broccoli and green beans. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, this actually doesn't look too bad. Got some spinach, got some salmon. Some chicken, a little bit of beef tips, and a lot of, a lot of flavor it looks like. So, not too, too shabby. I'm gonna be all right. So, Penelope can't have any solid food for the next two weeks. And then that's soft food after that. So I don't wanna tease her tonight, especially if she maybe is feeling a little bit nauseous. So I am just gonna eat my food right here in the middle of this hallway. Uh, before I go back in and uh, we have a little bit of dad time gives a whole new meaning to dad time though it? <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for being on this journey with us I know it's a lot and uh, it's been a crazy week already with more to come 
uh, but it really does mean so much uh, to have all of your encouragement. You, even just, you know, we kind of have been given some updates on, on Instagram and to have all of you guys commenting and telling us you're praying for us and that you're, you know, you're thinking about us and you're pulling for us and all kind of things like that. It's just been so, so encouraging. So I just want to say thank you. Uh, if you are not already subscribing to our channel, we would love for you to do that. Go ahead and like, uh, hit that notifications bell so that you get notifications when we post new videos, which hopefully this week will be every day. Um, because there's a lot going on so we would love to have you do that and then tell a friend about it if you don't mind uh, we would really be humbled and honored and grateful and uh, we'll talk to you soon you guys have an amazing day Bye. what do you think of the flowers it's yeah they smell good huh my favorite flower they're your favorite flowers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is the ice cream flower you like that flower I like all of them. You like all of them? Thank you. <laughs> I love you, girly. Love you too. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I really have tried everything. Just snuggling. You feeling good? You feeling better? Did you get to have another milkshake? Yeah, I just have a little bit of poison. Yeah. <laughs>